The causal sets program is an approach to quantum gravity. Its founding principles are that spacetime is fundamentally discrete a collection of discrete spacetime points, called the elements of the causal set and that spacetime events are related by a partial order. This partial order has the physical meaning of the causality relations between spacetime events. The program is based on a theorem by David Malament that states that if there is a bijective map between two past and future distinguishing spacetimes that preserves their causal structure then the map is a conformal isomorphism. The conformal factor that is left undetermined is related to the volume of regions in the spacetime. This volume factor can be recovered by specifying a volume element for each spacetime point. The volume of a spacetime region could then be found by counting the number of points in that region. Causal sets was initiated by Raphael Sorkin who continues to be the main proponent of the program. He has coined the slogan order plus number equals geometry to characterize the above argument. The program provides a theory in which spacetime is fundamentally discrete while retaining local Lorentz invariance. Equals Topic. Definition equals A causal set or cosset is a set C display style C with a partial order relation display style pressic that is reflexive for all X element of C display style X in C we have x x display style x pressic x antisymmetric for all x y element of c display style x y in c we have x y display style x pressic y and y x Display style y pressic x implies x equals y. Display style x equals y. Transitive for all x y z element of C. Display style x y z in C. We have x y. Display style x pressic y and y z display style y pressic z implies x z display style x pressic z locally finite for all x z element of c display style x z in c we have y element of c x y z 0 display style y in c x pressic y pressic z we'll write x y display style x prec y if x y display style x pressic y and x does not equal y display style x n e q y the set C display style C represents the set of spacetime events and the order relation display style pressic represents the causal relationship between events see causal structure for the analogous idea in a Lorentzian manifold Although this definition uses the reflexive convention we could have chosen the irreflexive convention in which the order relation is a reflexive The causal relation of a Lorentzian manifold without closed causal curves satisfies the first 3 conditions it is the local finiteness condition that introduces spacetime discreteness. Topic: Comparison to the continuum. Given a causal set, we may ask whether it can be embedded into a Lorentzian manifold. An embedding would be a map taking elements of the causal set into points in the manifold such that the order relation of the causal set matches the causal ordering of the manifold. A further criterion is needed however before the embedding is suitable. If, on average, the number of causal set elements mapped into a region of the manifold is proportional to the volume of the region then the embedding is said to be faithful. In this case we can consider the causal set to be manifold-like a central conjecture to the causal set program is that the same causal set cannot be faithfully embedded into two spacetimes that are not similar on large scales. 
This is called the Hauptvermutung, meaning fundamental conjecture. It is difficult to define this conjecture precisely because it is difficult to decide when two spacetimes are similar on large scales. Modeling spacetime as a causal set would require us to restrict attention to those causal sets that are manifold-like. Given a causal set this is a difficult property to determine. Topic. Sprinkling The difficulty of determining whether a causal set can be embedded into a manifold can be approached from the other direction. We can create a causal set by sprinkling points into a Lorentzian manifold. By sprinkling points in proportion to the volume of the spacetime regions and using the causal order relations in the manifold to induce order relations between the sprinkled points, we can produce a causal set that by construction can be faithfully embedded into the manifold. To maintain Lorentz invariance this sprinkling of points must be done randomly using a Poisson process. Thus the probability of sprinkling n points into a region of volume v display style v is p n equals rho v n e minus rho v n display style p n equals frac rho v caret n e caret rho v n where rho display style rho is the density of the sprinkling sprinkling points as a regular lattice would not keep the number of points proportional to the region volume topic <laughs> geometry some geometrical constructions in manifolds carry over to causal sets when defining these we must remember to rely only on the causal set itself, not on any background spacetime into which it might be embedded. For an overview of these constructions, see. Topic. Geodesics A link in a causal set is a pair of elements x y element of c display style x y in c such that x y display style x prec y but with no z element of c display style z in c such that x z y display style x prec z prec y a chain is a sequence of elements x 0 x 1 x n display style x underscore 0 x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n such that x i x i plus 1 Display style x underscore i prec x underscore i plus one for i equals zero n minus one display style i equals zero l dots n one. The length of a chain is n display style n. If every x i x i plus 1 display style x underscore i x underscore i plus 1 in the chain form a link then the chain is called a path we can use this to define the notion of a geodesic between two causal set elements provided they are order comparable that is causally connected physically this means they are time like a geodesic between two elements x y element of c display style x presic y in c is a chain consisting only of links such that x 0 equals x 
display style x underscore zero equals x and x n equals y display style x underscore n equals y the length of the chain n display style n is maximal over all chains from x display style x to y display style y in general there can be more than one geodesic between two comparable elements Meyerheim first suggested that the length of such a geodesic should be directly proportional to the proper time along a timelike geodesic joining the two spacetime points. Tests of this conjecture have been made using causal sets generated from sprinklings into flat spacetimes. The proportionality has been shown to hold and is conjectured to hold for sprinklings in curved spacetimes too. Topic. Dimension estimators Much work has been done in estimating the manifold dimension of a causal set. This involves algorithms using the causal set aiming to give the dimension of the manifold into which it can be faithfully embedded. The algorithms developed so far are based on finding the dimension of a Minkowski spacetime into which the causal set can be faithfully embedded. Meyerheim Meyer dimension this approach relies on estimating the number of k display style k length chains present in a sprinkling into d display style d dimensional minkowski spacetime counting the number of k display style k length chains in the causal set then allows an estimate for d display style d to be made midpoint scaling dimension this approach relies on the relationship between the proper time between two points in minkowski spacetime and the volume of the spacetime interval between them by computing the maximal chain length to estimate the proper time between two points x display style x and y display style y and counting the number of elements z display style z such that x z y display style x prec z prec y to estimate the volume of the spacetime interval the dimension of the spacetime can be calculated these estimators should give the correct dimension for causal sets generated by high density sprinklings into d Display style d dimensional Minkowski spacetime. Tests in conformally flat spacetimes have shown these two methods to be accurate. Topic: <laughs> Dynamics. An ongoing task is to develop the correct dynamics for causal sets. These would provide a set of rules that determine which causal sets correspond to physically realistic spacetimes. The most popular approach to developing causal set dynamics is based on the sum over history's version of quantum mechanics. This approach would perform a sum over causal sets by growing a causal set one element at a time. Elements would be added according to quantum mechanical rules and interference would ensure a large manifold-like spacetime would dominate the contributions. The best model for dynamics at the moment is a classical model in which elements are added according to probabilities. This model, due to David Rideout and Raphael Sorkin, is known as classical sequential growth CSG dynamics. The classical sequential growth model is a way to generate causal sets by adding new elements one after another. Rules for how new elements are added are specified and, depending on the parameters in the model, different causal sets result. In analogy to the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics, one approach to developing a quantum dynamics for causal sets has been to apply an action principle in the sum over causal sets approach. Sorkin has proposed a discrete analog for the d'Alembertian, which can in turn be used to define the Ricci curvature scalar and thereby the benin casa dauker action on a causal set. Monte Carlo simulations have provided evidence for a continuum phase in 2D using the benin casa dauker action. Topic. 
Topic. See also. Causal dynamical triangulation (CDT). Causal structure. General relativity. Order theory.